causes a sweet little dir like this to become a homicidal maniac and horny with a god complex. I will tell you, and it is the rut. Look at this. This is a bull. And this deer is like, hmm, let's fight it. All right? That's a bull. Look at that. And check this out. This is a ram. That, my friends, is the rut. So what happens during the rut? As most of you know from my antler video, the rut is when at the end of summer, a deer's antlers get hard and turn into hard bone because of their rising testosterone levels. And that rising testosterone level means that they want to make babies. You have to remember that with all wildlife, their sole purpose and existence on this planet in their brain is to reproduce. Like that's, that's what they're thinking of. Reproduce, next generation, that's it. And so during the rut, males, such as little brother here, they decide that they are going to fight anything and everything for the right to breed. It could be a trash can, it could be a water trough, it could be a person, it could be a car. If for some reason they deem it as something they want to shut their stuff on, they will decide to fight, especially when you watch them fight each other. Those bucks during those time, it doesn't matter what it is, they will fight. They will fight even to the death. It's not uncommon for you to find two bucks with their heads stuck together uh, or a buck who the other one got eaten by a coyote and the other one's dragging the other one. So those fights can 1,000% get deadly. And the worst part about it is it doesn't matter how sweet and how lovable a deer is. Um, during the rut, that testosterone takes over. And he could be your best friend one day, and the next day he could try and stick you. Doesn't matter how much love or attention or affection you give, he's not trying to hurt you. He doesn't want to. But his brain says anything that is deemed as a potential threat, I'm going to fight to strut my stuff. So in the fall, if you come across a male deer that is looking overly friendly, remember, they kind of can sometimes lose their fear of humans. And if you see a deer in November or December that's looking a little bit friendly, who's got hard antler, stay away because he may decide that you are a threat and he will push you up against whatever you're on and stick you. Brother, tell him, say, I'm sweet now, but you just wait. I'm going to get some hard antler and I'm going to be mean. There you go. There you have it. The rut simplified.